I think it's really cool that this starts out just like Metal Gear Solid 1, like even the same color palette. Yeah, it's underwater. It's like underwater. It's uh, you got that really deep green, and then but then he transitions to blue. Like this is different, but still more of the same. Also, it's a Kojima game. No way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, that is the yeah. same. And it was KCEJ before or K yeah KCEJ before they became Konami for or Kojima Productions. And we're doing it, guys. Meta Gear Solid Two. Took us a while, but we got here. Thanks for being patient, guys. We uh, had to take some time off, but uh, we're back, and we're going to be uh, doing these better than ever. Yeah, the uh, Metal Gear year was actually just for Metal Gear Solid 1. Yeah. So <laughs> we're going to play Metal Gear Solid 1 over a year. <laughs> but uh, we just re announced that Phantom Pain is coming out a little bit later than we all expected, so we got a second life, guys. Yeah. Our, our re clock got reset. Yeah, we didn't have to scramble to, to knock out the other ones and, and figure out this whole thing. Uh, so we've got a little bit of a time thanks to uh, the September release date. Despite my disappointment, it's a good thing. Hey, he's going to take more time to make it a better game. Yeah, shining it up, man. Well, I think I think it was really nice that Kojima thought of us. Yeah, right. Before right. announcing thanks, it. Thanks, Kojima. You're helping, uh, helping our show out. Thanks, bro. You're a bro. <laughs> Yeah. But you guys are all here to watch Metal Gear Solid 2, and uh, this is a uh, this is when the series really comes into uh, comes into its own, and it's uh, it's kind of uh, split <laughs> split the fans on uh, the direction that it takes. But you can't deny that it's a monumental game in the series, and I think we're all excited to play it. Yeah, I I, I probably played this. I mean, I think I've mentioned this before. The most I we played this until it was like not even fun anymore. <laughs> uh, monumental not only is like a Metal Gear Solid game, but as a game period, yeah, it's this a game is like, in general, yeah. This is like one of the greatest pieces of interactive like fiction ever made. Well, like, yeah, I mean, there's an argument there that when it first released, that it was more of a postmodern commentary, like a piece of I, art's a heavy term, but it was it was more than just a video game. Who is this guy swimming? Well, it's like uh, I don't. I think when it came out. Uh, games weren't quite ready for this um, which is why it took so long for the appreciation for this game to set in including myself yeah, hey I'm still appreciating it trying to get my head around it <laughs> yeah I think that just we we weren't ready for this uh, I think he was so far ahead of what games were doing at the time that people didn't know how to take it when it came out well um, I mean even this opening cutscene which if you pay attention there's a lot of clues to what happened later in the game uh, Kojima spent a lot of time uh, basically storyboarding and working this out so that it gives you the whole story all the twists and everything are are hidden in there uh but i mean speaking of cinematic opening cutscenes he really does raise the ante from the first man, game that's a beautiful and it really looks like a trailer to a, a, a movie oh man and that that cutscene just gets you fucking hyped well fucking hyped and We're fucking pumped <laughs> oh, oh my God. i'm not i'm gonna rip this microphone <laughs> This isn't even my favorite game. I'm just excited. I know you just. Yeah, this is how much it. I'm more excited about this than you are, yeah. and you're wanting to flip our table here. Yeah, even this cutscene. I'm not cutscene. This uh, background menu here. There's so much going on here, and if anyone's, I'm sure some people's noticed. Uh, we're playing the HD reissue version. Yeah. Uh, last time for Metal Gear Solid One, we played the PSN downloaded version, so it wasn't upscaled at all. So we're watching this in glorious HD, and I'm sure you're noticing there on YouTube. And this is like, yeah, like foreshadowing all the little things that you can really do in the game is just letting you toggle around. And as I'm as I'm pressing around on the controller, it lets me kind of control what's going on in the background. I think that's so cool. There's just so much thought put into these games. It's really like on every level you notice it. Yeah. It's like little details that nobody else would bother to even put in a game. Yeah. And he yeah, just in does the it. menu screen. Like yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. It's just very immersive. Yeah. And speaking of being appreciative, I'd like to take this moment to say Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to us so far. Uh, anyone who has sent us messages. So there's even been some retweets out there. And so far, we've been pretty under the radar. We've done a really, really bad job of advertising ourselves. Unfortunately, we just really haven't had the time so far. But that's really going to change because from now on, we're really going to make much more of an effort to getting the show out there. But anyone who's been following us so far, who's been really supportive uh, during the first uh, first game um, and given us really positive feedback, and uh, Brad G, I'm looking at you. Thanks, guy. Wink, um, wink. Wink. But from now on, we are going to try to engage uh, all of you guys who are true Metal Gear fans and just love talking about this stuff. That means this time we're going to add something different. Uh, we're going to try a, a new thing for the show. 
So after we plead, uh, complete a game, we're going to have a wrap-up episode. And uh, throughout the games, we always talk about what our favorite parts are and the things that really interest us and what our favorite moments are. But feel free to uh, send us messages, put it in the, in the comment section below. What are your guys' favorite moments in the game? Do you like all the twists? Do you find it just confusing? Do you like this uh, uh, this entry into the series or is it le your least favorite? Let us know because what we're gonna do in the last episode after we wrap up the game, we're gonna get some, uh, get some of your guys' feedback. And uh, one of the new features of this series too is we're also gonna have some guests sitting in on a few episodes. I'm so excited. Well, we're pretty excited about that too. So we're gonna get some, just in have instead of having the three of us yammer on about our stuff, uh, this show is really b more about the community and the d different viewpoints that people have about the, the game. So we're gonna get some other people who might uh, appreciate things a little differently than we do. And that's great, we love that. And uh, we do wanna open that up to you, the viewers out there, because we know there's some people out there who wanna hear more earnest discussion about Metal Gear. And, and we're saying, hey man, join us. We have microphones, but you, I mean, we're not cut off. Yeah. Engage us, please by all means. So this has just been a little mini episode. Uh, we're going to start the actual gameplay next time. Uh, this has been episode zero. Check us out episode one, where we actually start uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Yay! So uh, thanks, guys, for helping us out so so far. And we have plenty of time ahead of us, plenty of Metal Gear. And it's going to be awesome. E equals MC squared. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs>